I've got a customer on the way over here to pick up this sump. He'll be here in a few minutes. So I want to take this moment to shoot a video of this beautiful sump. I'm very, very proud of it. It's probably one of the best sumps I've built so far. Not to put down the ones of the past, but this one is awesome. And I feel like everything I'm building forward from this day forward will just be of a higher quality or caliber. This is a big one at 60 inches long by 23 inches wide by 16 tall. And it's going to go under, I think, a 250 gallon system. If you wanted to have a large area for the skimmer and you wanted to have a larger refugium, and then I set it up with a return zone in the center that flows behind the refugium and then goes out of an external pump uh, at a 1.5 inch bulkhead. This sump has a bubble tower, like all my sumps do, where the water will drain into here, go through some rock rubble, and then flow into here where this protein skimmer is sitting. If he wants, he can switch it over to this part here and run filter socks in these rain folders right here, and then switch it back when he's done. It's not really something you have to run all the time, but if he's doing some special cleaning, he can switch it temporarily. There's an extra bulkhead right here so that the chiller can dump cool water into here during the hot summer months. And the water then, of course, is traveling through the zone, through a hole here into this area here with a tray, which he wanted to be able to put some floss or some carbon, and then it goes under the baffles and into the return zone. A bulkhead is over here for water to drain into the refugium zone, where I recommend 25% of the water go here and 75% go into the skimmer section. The water from the two zones will then combine into the center, go along the back, and come out, and then pump back up to the display. The extra bulkhead is to feed reactors in here as well as the chiller. Uh, the whole sump is made of 3 8 acrylic, cast acrylic, it's beautiful, all the edges are rounded over, it's just the seams are meticulously perfect. I'm very, very proud of this sump, as you can possibly imagine. These aren't cheap to make, all I do is build custom sumps, I don't have any like standard cookie cutter, I never seem to have time to make extras just to have available on my website, but who knows, 2014 might be the year where I make a few where you can just instantly place the order and get one. I do hope that you enjoy getting a small tour of this sump. It's got all the nice doodads, including a bubble trap, bubble tower, probe holders, dosing tubing holders, and float switch holders to top off the system as it evaporates. Um, I don't put teeth in here because I find that egg crate works out better, and it's actually glued in here as a permanent addition to a solid baffle so it should give it nice strength. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit MiloJReef.com and check out all the latest, including new articles that are constantly being added to the site. Thank you.